Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's your boy T Money with another lit live reaction. Today we react to Y and W Melly updates um with the case. Um if you don't know, he they they are um they are trying to get um unalived. They he is facing the death penalty um for a double homicide, you know what I'm saying, of his two friends, um just new evidence and um we just gonna give you the updates of what's going on with that have surfaced from the night that YNW Melly allegedly killed his two best friends. The recordings are of YNW Bortland talking to the police, telling them what happened because if you remember, Bortland showed up to the hospital alone with the two deceased bodies in the car. Bortland and Melly both say that they left the studio, started getting shot at by another car at some point, the two friends got hit and both passed away, off. and then they drove the bodies to the hospital. But investigators start to see red flags and begin to question if this story is question if this story is even true. And this recordings, you could clearly Clearly tell that Bortland is a little nervous to be telling this story and it kind of seems like it's not really what happened. Shout out the channel Crime Circus. He's the one that got this footage, but we're about to watch it real quick, boys. You need to be straight up with us and tell us where this happened. My understanding, you told these officers something, but uh, the evidence doesn't show that it happened there. It's all for if the cops are questioning if this even happened at the location that he told them in the first place. Right off the exit. Right off the exit. It was like almost got to the lake. Okay, tell me, tell me what happened. Then I was playing music. I was playing music, getting off the exit. I was already getting sleepy. Well, almost home. You know what I'm saying? And like, just out of nowhere, like, just heard gunshots. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, I ducked, ducked down. You know what I'm saying? In the car. Hey, and I almost crashed. Go on. Let me back you up a few minutes. Where were you coming from? I was coming from the studio. From Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale studio. Which way did you take? I took I-75. Uh, 595 mm -hmm. to, yeah, to... To 75? Yeah. Then you took 75 South? That, that's what... That, if you come from Fort Lauderdale, you take 595, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And you get, you get on... So you can already tell that the uh, police is not... You know what I'm saying? They're not messing with the story. You know what I'm saying? That uh, he got to say, you know... Um, in, in this recording, they already questioning them. You know I'm saying? You know, it, may, it, it, it seems a little uh, sus for them. Um, yeah, this is um, some of the new evidence. Now, what is some of the evidence that uh, that they that they um, allege uh, for YNW Melly and his boy that they've gone over? They've got tower records, cell phone tower records. They've got camera footage. They got forensic evidence uh, showing the trajectory of the bullets, both in the bodies and in the vehicle itself. They've got a canine search where they went to the scene and they collected evidence. They found. So there they got forensic, um, they got tower records, they got phones, they got ballistics. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of evidence right now stacked up against Melly, you know what I mean? Like, the prosecution um, really, uh, and the state really doing their homework on this case, you know what I'm saying? They're seeking the death penalty, and they trying to, you know what I'm saying, dot all I's and cross all T's in this one for real. 840 caliber shell casings that'll be um important in a second when i tell you then they also found shards of glass at the scene consistent with the vehicle that they were in they also know that the vehicle was alone and did a u-turn uh and i'll tell you how they figured that out in a minute and they, they show that the trajectory of the shots came from left to right and the trajectory of the shots that were on the outside of the car were right to left so it's completely contrary to things that some of the people said what we have here is a okay so we got um we got ak and he covers some um some of the stuff uh was going on on the update for the ynw melly um case and i'm um, going to use some of the stuff that he got to say okay so his brother, his brother and his mom, this is his mom's Instagram. They said, official update on YNW Melly. We just started jury selection today and we'll continue over the next two weeks. Trial will start on June 5th, 2023. No more delays. Now, that's kind of interesting because here's the big thing about this YNW Melly. So they got jury selections coming up and with them jury selections, you know what I mean? That's a big part of the case. We don't know, uh, you know, what type of jury that they're going to um, they're gonna pick, you know, because they are seeking the death penalty and they literally got uh, YNW's license in his hands. So depending on their thoughts on the rapper, you know what I'm saying? It's not too many people that aren't going to know of them. So, you know what I mean? They might have that you know pre-existing thought of um of uh who y and w melody is and you know with the music that he puts out 
it, it don't look good for him too. You know what I'm saying? With the evidence that they have stacked up against him, um, we might see the first, you know, rapper to uh, be executed, you know, by the by the state. Let's just call them demons. You know what type of time you're on. Demons have suffered no harm. They wrote in a brief. They said he was on notice for three years that the state, the state was seeking it. And at no time had the state indicated that it was altering his sentence and intent. So basically they're saying we always wanted to kill him. We, we never acted like we didn't want to kill him. That's the only thing we've been wanting to do. Right? Damn. And so they don't want no time. They don't want no money. They they. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. They, and this uh, trial's been going on for four years now. So uh, we've been waiting. Like, we've been waiting on what's going to happen for, like, the last four years. And this is basically what they was dealing with. They wanted to, you know, uh, basically, you know what I'm saying, unalive them. And, um, and they were seeking the death penalty. One of the... Um, one of them got it got overturned, and then they, you know, saying went to a higher court to be like, nah, we really we want him, we want him. So asking the state's high court to take up the case, Melly has argued that it raises issues of great public importance for Florida law for such judicial review. So essentially, prosecutors are telling Supreme Court, y'all could ignore this. Like y'all don't gotta even like. Don't listen to what this nigga is saying. No other district courts have been faced with this issues. Blah blah blah. Da, da, da. Should a death sentence be imposed? Okay. So they're saying that they rather the Supreme Court not make the decision on it now, and they could then have the this appeal go through, and it could be decided on. And of the 101 people executed, 44 have been executed by electrocution. <clears throat> That's, ain't that the old school way of killing people? Like when they just fry you and shit like that and like Yo, acts crazy for that one. Look how he did that. By yo, look what he just did. That's why people don't fuck with Act. That's ain't not the old Look how look how he did this. Like when they just fry you and shit like that and like Yo, Act, you crazy for that one, bruh. Yo, no respect, my guy. Damn, bruh. You vicious. That seems very Yo, that seems cruel. Now nah, he say he say cruel. He's a hey, you you was a troll, bruh. Is there a mess on a TV? Troll. They hung him on. T Yo, it was the craziest shit I've ever seen. Nah, I am not showing nobody getting hung. I'm good. Yeah, I can go find your own time. They showing that's crazy to even want to do. Oh, look at that girl coming to the background. What did he do to get him hung? Niggas really I'm hate him. Drop him off a sandwich and shit. Iraqis remember the day he was hung. That's crazy. There's still a part of me that hopes that he ain't do it. You get what I mean? Because it's just not even fathomable why he. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna put my um. It give you my opinion you know what I'm saying which i always have i always will you know what i'm saying um i'm not with that oh if uh free wide the melly if he really did it and there's a ledger all right now so i can't say he did or did it you know what i mean um if he did if he really killed two of his friends you know what i'm saying the the it just shows that the uh, there's, you know, there's no code. There's no code to the game no more. You know what I'm saying? No honor must cease. And I understand that, you know what I'm saying? This is a new era. It's 2023. People don't live by the same rules of the game that, you know, was out there, you know. And even if they, you know, they you might not think that they even um really uh abided by the rules by back then too with all, you know, the, you know, rats that they have out there then and now, you know, shit ain't never going to change it, so but more clearly will be revealed during the trial. And we're going to see what happens, man. So when I say he crashed out. They got man, there you have it, man. It's your boy T-Money makes bucks with another lit, lit live reaction. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
you know, covering the updates with the YNWD case. Uh, Melly, you know what I'm saying, is, uh, uh, again, um, alleged, you know, facing those, the death penalty uh, for the murder, a uh, double homicide. Um, leave in the chat if you believe that YNW Melly is free or if you believe, you know, if he's not free, if he's innocent and should be free or if he is guilty and he deserves the um you know to be unalive you know um which that's not really that's kind of crazy to even put in that chat you know what I'm saying because really it shouldn't be up to us it should be up to god but at the end of the day you know what i mean we have to cover this stuff because this is history this is what's going on in our culture you know what i mean so i'll leave in chat um what's your thoughts and opinions on the whole case um, you know what I'm saying, uh, talented, you know what I'm saying, black man throwing everything away, or is, you know what I'm saying, um, is he innocent of, the, uh, of all charges, you know what I'm saying, been in the, uh, locked up for four years, uh, you know what I'm saying, about four years and waiting trial, so, yeah, they seeking the death penalty, um, if he is convicted, you know, so, uh, with that being said, man, it's T-Money Makes Bucks, you know what I'm saying, follow me on all platforms, um also you know what i'm saying run up them likes man like and share um and um you know what i mean hit hit the subs if you're new to the channel uh that be said man we out man too money makes money bucks